Dr. Generic B, butt surgeon. I'm sorry, it's Kanker. Kanker of the Kingdom Kingdom. Yo, 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 everybody. Dr. Generic B here, and welcome back to another episode of Hermit Goes Mobile. This time we're looking at Operate Now Hospital. This game is available absolutely free on your iOS and Android devices. All you gotta do is click on the sponsored link in the description below from your device, and it will automatically take you to the appropriate download page. And don't forget, my fellow hermits, that every download and install directly supports me and my channel, so I thank you guys so much for your love and support. Okay. Operate Now Hospital. Dude, so you've seen a lot of like uh, surgeon simulator games out there. Some are a little bit quirky, some are a little bit realistic. This is more than just a surgeon sim. It is also a hospital resource management and, and personnel management uh, game. So let me show you what's going on. This is your hospital, right, as we go. And right now we've got a few rooms in place. Uh, we've got the reception, so that's where, you know, people come in, and for each one of these, you actually staff them. So, like, if I hit room info, it'll say, right now we've got one staff, uh, here's the number of patients we can handle, and we're attracting a patient every five minutes, 52 seconds, okay? So that's how, uh, that's how you get people in, so you can diagnose what's wrong with them, and then if they need to go into surgery, then you can do that, okay? So, and then over here, we've got our operating room over here. We've got our ward, which is after operation, they can hang out. We've even got a break room for our doctors because you'll notice, like if we go into here, uh -huh, some of these people are kind of, uh, you know, kind of running low on the stamina as people come in. So for example, like uh, this lady right here, I'm going to say, you're off break. And then can I do it from here? Yeah. So we will add my boy, and then over here, you're on break, and we're going to add plop. See, so we'll just do a little swap out job. That's how it works. So like, here's Alfredo, and all of your staff have different types of uh, detailed stuff. So they've got skills, increase the amount of uh, cash earn, decrease the amount of time they need to do a task, and such and so forth. And you can upgrade all of your guys as time goes on. So it's a really, really detailed type of thing. I'm going to get rid of you. And we're going to add you onto there. Okay, and we will add a person. Brump, sweet. Okay, so that being said, um, and if we go in, get out of the stuff. Oh, I've done a couple things, let me obtain a medical room we have and so you get some money so you have tasks so quests as you go and one of those quests is surgery so let me show you a like a surgery going on here so this is called metal within mr brown 43 was working in his garage when he slipped on oil and landed chest first onto a shard of metal oh no so if we get this um depending on how well we do the surgery perform the surgery we get between 50 and 130, um, this is kind of like our, uh, our XP, and then we get money for the surgery, of course. So, shall we do it, Mr. Brown? Oh, it's Amy. So, you finally got to meet Dr. Stone. He's a great boss, but can be really stern at times. So yeah, while this whole thing's going on, if you watch those like hospital shows, you know, like ER, Chicago Blue, I think is what it's called, stuff like that, um, then, uh, you know, then there's like people, all of your staff like talk to each other in the background. Uh, so here's Dr. Stone. He's the, he's the big boss man, right? <clears throat> I trust I don't need to remind you to keep your attention on your patients, Amy. You can always socialize on your own time. Wow, he's a hard, hard knocker, man. What did I tell you? Okay, then we're going in. Oh no, right into his chest. Looks like it's in his lung. Okay, let's tap to start. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be, okay. So, we need some forceps. We're taking it out. And then, let's needle them up. Stitch, 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 we're good to go. Okay, uh, let's give them another needle job. Stitch, so this one's not too bad. And then we're you gonna use the applicator to clean everything up. Woo, good job. We almost lost him, his heart rate went down to 76. <laughs> no, so this one uh, as it starts 
you know, they're not quite as difficult, but then they get more and more and more, you know what I'm talking about? So, because then there'll be like, uh, there's things where you have to actually, if there's a broken bone, you have to put the pieces back together and stuff like that. Okay, so we've done the Metal Within, we can claim. <clears throat> and as you can see, we get some XP off of that. And it may level us up. We're at level five right now. Uh, okay, so let's see, what is this, an assignment? Denise, 25, broke her ankle while performing a complicated ballet routine. We need to make sure we fix it properly, otherwise she might never be able to dance again. Oh no, oh no. So this one is, uh, you can't do all the surgeries yourself. So this one is an assignment and this is part of the resource management. So we need someone on staff with at least a stamina of 45. And here we go, she's a really good surgeon. So we're gonna say, all right. And then as you can tell, like, um, because of her skill, she might reduce the amount of time it takes to complete this task. So right now it's gonna take like 20, 29 minutes. So we're gonna hit start and off she goes. Good, this hospital is really starting to look like one now. There you are, Dr. Stone, who is she? Ah, Allison, this is Dr. Generic B. We need all the help we can get to run a tight ship around here. <coughs> yeah, real pleasure. Listen, Noah, you gotta come talk to Sam. Forgive me, Allison. As you can see, I'm in the middle of... Damn it, Noah! You know how this works. Running a hospital is just as much about politics as it is patient care. If you would have answered his damn calls, you'd know that he wants to pull his funding. Oh, no. Last thing you want to have in a hospital. What? Again? Damn it! Allison, let's go to my office and see if we can sort this out. Keep up the good work, doctor. Let's hope we can turn this hospital into a profitable venue for all our sakes. Dun dun! Yeah, so see? It ain't just about helping people, and it ain't just about stitches and applicators and forceps on this. You don't just go in and say, we need to intubate the patient, I need 20 cc's of stat, stat. You can't just do that. You gotta like really make sure that everybody's on the ball, that the money's flowing in, you know what I'm saying? So right now, uh, let's see what the, we've got a task at hand. It is in progress, we could rush it if need be. Um, and if you do that, you just say rush, and it'll cost us five golden hearts. Right now we have 75 of them. You earn uh, more and more hearts every time you level up. So let's go ahead and rush it. And then we can claim. Now we get some energy drinks as well, and that will, uh, I believe, increase the stamina of the people. Um, so, <clears throat> so you don't have to necessarily put them into uh, put them into the break room to increase their stamina back. Okay. So deep cut. We've got another surgery. Jason, 24, cut his arm while trying to open a can of beans. Oh man, have they not seen those commercials? Okay, I'm going for it. It's a gaping wound. Doctor, we're gonna have to go in. Uh, but isn't he broken all up in that? Am I wrong here? Did it not look like he had a... That's all. Dude, I don't know. It looked like he had a serious bunch of broken bones up in that. I'm no doctor. Oh wait, I am a doctor. <laughs> okay, so now we rank up to level six. Of course, here you go. You see we get some more hearts there. And we hit next. And boom. Okay, so let's see what else there. So the surgery is complete. We get leveled up. Your signature here and the nurse's schedule is set for the next week. Dr. Generic B. I didn't get to introduce myself earlier. My name's Allison. I'm the PR representative for the hospital. Oh, oh. Listen, I'll cut straight to the chase. When a patient dies, the hospital's reputation drops, which means we lose interest from investors. Oh. With a lack of interest from my investors, my life becomes much more difficult. There are, however, certain PR tactics we can put in place, but if you do your job right, this won't be an issue. With that cleared up, I look forward to working with you, doctor. See you around. Allison sure is smart, but she can be ice cold at times. No joke. Don't let people die because it'll let the PR rating of the hospital go down. <coughs> hospital life is just good business to her. She understands nothing about patient care. Be cautious with her, okay? I will. Okay, so now you see we've earned a little bit of money from these places. So there's like a countdown. So uh, as the timers go down, that's when you get uh, that's when you get more and more uh, money. For this one over here, 
we've got four minutes until we get another patient, so that's how that works, and uh, such and so forth. Let's look and see what we got here now. Ooh! <clears throat> okay, so, first one, obtaining an ambulance department. If we invest in an ambulance department, we can help even more people build one. Okay, so, that's basically all there is to know. Oh, if Barry brings in his world-famous donuts, politely decline, okay? The only thing that makes them world-famous is how bad they are. <laughs> what is this, a high school reunion? Get back to work. She's, like, super mean, but she's, like, one of the chief surgeons on the in the place, right? Sorry, Serona. We're just going back to work. Oh, by the way, Serona, have you tried one of Barry's homemade donuts? Oh, and they're world famous, you know. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, so <clears throat> this will show you all the different things that you can get in the game. So, right, MRIs, operating rooms, pharmacies, and all of that. Uh, so right now they want us to get an ambulance garage. Uh, let's look and see. So it brings them in very fast. We can't keep too many waiting before treatment requires paramedics. Okay, so we're going to build one of those guys. And we can put them, aha, they go down in here. Brrrp. So that'll take <clears throat> approximately 30 minutes to do. I'm going to go ahead and say finish because it's only five hearts. Why not? Brrrp. And then we will get this guy. And you can see we've earned a folder. So a lot of times that is a staff member. Most of the time. <laughs> Yes! Oh, and we got a paramedic, which is perfect, because we need a paramedic. All right, so we're going to put a paramedic in there. Boom! Yeah, boom, I say. Okay, so now that will allow us to get patients in faster. Yep, sure enough, that's going to, like, bring them in. Two minutes and 11 seconds, we're going to have another patient, which is amazing. And we will get our little claim from that guy. Boom. Okay. Ooh! <clears throat> oh, it's the paramedic. Okay. Hey, you must be Dr. Generic B. Nice to meet you. This is James Shaw. He drives the ambulances, but somehow is always up to date with what happens at the hospital. Which reminds me, weren't you Serona's last victim? And don't put that image back into my head. It's time someone puts her back in her place. I don't understand. Seems like you're upset about Serona just being Serona. <laughs> See, so it's got this, like, little... It's definitely, like, one of those hospital TV shows, which is pretty funny. All right, so let's see. We got... Oh, dude, we've got two surgeries back-to-back. -back. Okay, growling bowels. All right, so Dave, 32, has some troubles with bowel movements. Uh-oh. A polyp was discovered during an examination. Relieve him of his problems. We gotta go do some butt surgery. Dr. Generic B, butt surgeon. Can anyone tell me what the hell Serona considers more important than turning up uh, to a surgery on time? I'm sure she's on her way. Explain that to our dying patient. Dr. Generic B, scrub up. or uh, You will need to run this up. Oh, with pleasure. I'm on it. Oh, it's a polypectomy <laughs> of the intestines. I'm sorry. It's canker. Canker of the anal canal. For those of you who know uh, <laughs> Saturday Night Live. Okay. So let's get in here. Okay, first things first, we're going to apply the applicator. Get it all nice and... Are we there? Where is it? Okay. Scalpel. Nurse, hand me a scalpel. Good job. Okay. We're going in, everybody. Oh, oh. Okay. Nurse, scalpel. I'm going to cut alongside the large intestine here. Disgusting. How is there not blood everywhere? I need suction, nurse. Ooh, okay, and then we gotta laser this sucker out. <laughs> we just zapped his polyp. Uh, I think I put an applicator. Yep, okay. That's to kind of clean, clean things up. We're going back in. We gotta stitch him up, nurse. It's so nasty, <laughs> but I love it. Okay, and then another needle. How's his, how's his blood pressure, nurse? He's doing okay. We Doctor, oh, we cleaned him up with the applicator. There's a little blood left, but I guess apparently that's okay. Good job on us. Boom! Operation successful. No mistakes. That's what I like to see. No one dies on my operating table, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, now let's, let's hit this one. Uh, oh, we got some money. A lot of money. Okay, and then there's going to be some money coming right here. And a boom. Okay. And now what do we got here? Claim it. We get that money. Get that cash. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Serona, where the hell were you? 
Stone is livid. About what? I was taking my break. I didn't have any surgery scheduled. Dr. Clark, I see you've decided to please us with your presence. Oh, a shame your patients can't enjoy it too. Follow me to my office. Oh, snap. Jeez, I would not want to be in her shoes right now. Oh, snap. Okay, so we can assign someone to, <clears throat> to this one, Mrs. Owen. 48, stepped on a giant nail while out in the park with her kids. No idea how he got there, but we have to remove it. Okay, so this is one that we assign a doctor to. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is, weesh. Okay, I guess I'll assign her, but we're gonna have to put her in a break room pretty soon. So I'm gonna do that. <clears throat> oh, oh, she mad? Dr. Generic B, what the hell? Why'd you take my operation? Easy, Serona. We couldn't get a hold of you and, cut the crap. You're in charge of scheduling now, are you not? You knew my shift hadn't started yet. Did you do this to make me look bad? Boy, I wish. Get a grip, Serona. You know Dr. Generic B is new here. They, did, they didn't do this on per... Stay out of this, Amy. As for you, Dr. Generic B, I, hope almost, uh, I almost hope this really was planned instead of just inexperience and ignorance. Wow. She's a mean person. Now, I'm curious. Let's see. So this went down... You see, uh, this guy just went down to zero, so now we got a new patient. That one's in progress, and here we've got window shopping. It says one of two. This is interesting. Okay. <clears throat> so Hayden, seven. Oh, a little girl. Or a boy. I don't know if Hayden's a boy or girl name. Fell through a glass panel door while playing. Oh, he. <laughs> it's a boy. He has a cut on his arm and a shard stuck in his chest. Oh, poor Hayden. Can we do it? Nurse. Scrub, scrub me up. Dr. Generic B, quick. I just brought a seven-year-old boy with severe lacerations to his arms and glass embedded in his torso. You need to get to the surgery room now. Oh, no. Oh, no. It is. It's a double. Okay, let's, let's go for bone reconstruction first. Okay, I'm going to have to use my applicator. Nurse, intubate the patient. I need 20 cc's of epiphernal stat. <laughs> okay, so now first things first, we gotta take the forceps out. I mean, take the forceps and, and take the bones out, right? And then they do something to the mat bones, clean them up, and then we gotta put them back in their place. So, uh, uh -huh. okay, that seems like the spot. Okay, whoo, and then, okay, we're good. Then we put in the, the steel plate thingy, screw it in there. That's how bones work, apparently. Stitch them up. Heart rate's still good. And let's use the applicator. Get so cleaned. Whew. Okay, now we go next. Now we got to remove. We've got no time to waste. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's take the, the piece of glass out. Luckily, that's all this happened. There's no internal bleeding. All we have to do is use the applicator. Whew. Whew. We saved Hayden. Oh my goodness. So as you can see, the, the operations get, the surgeries get more and more complicated as time goes on. Luckily, poor, poor little Hayden is saved. Everything is just fine. We collect some money for doing a job well done. And now we can claim our reward. <laughs> uh huh. and now we have an assignment. So, ah, uh, James wants to check up on Hayden and his family. After all, he was the one who brought him into the hospital. So I can put, boom, and stick that guy on it and get so started. Generic B, how'd it go? Will he be okay? He's gonna be just fine, James. Just needs to rest. I'll let his parents know then. They're worried sick down in the waiting room. Sure, go ahead. Tell them he will be in the ward recovering. They can come see him when they are ready. Whew, just another day for Dr. Generic B. <laughs> All right, fellas, that is going to do it for me for this episode of Operate Now Hospital. If you enjoyed it, be sure and drop a like on the video. And if you want to get this yourself, remember, you can get this game absolutely free for your iOS and Android devices. All you got to do is click on the sponsored link in the description below from your device, and it will automatically take you to the appropriate download page. And don't forget, every download and install directly supports me and my channel, so I thank you guys so much for your love and support. But that's doing it for me, boys and girls. Until next time, take care. Brush your hair. I'll see you when I see you. Brush. Special thanks to the following patrons who made this video possible. 
Want to join the community and support the Hermit? Head on over to patreon.com slash generic beans.